All right, so in the last episode, we got all this pretty much working, uh, except we had some styling issues, and that's pretty much what we're going to focus on uh, cleaning up in this episode. So we got the slider going. Uh, we're basically looking at these, um, and then we had the footer issues. So the font and the footer are pretty much the only difference, because if we look at the About page, uh, this is what it should look like, and this is what the body text kind of should look like. So if we roll over to our code, um, let's go ahead and open up the um, the view that we need to be looking at. Uh, and mostly this is, I think, going to be a, uh, okay, I don't know why we, oh, okay, there's, okay. Uh, it's mostly going to be a CSS um, episode, I think. So we know we're pulling in these two assets, right? CSS reset and CSS the style. And these are specifically for the slider only. So this is kind of an exercise in how to solve this problem. So we could go into the slider styles and try to adjust a bunch of stuff. Most of this stuff is already kind of um, limited to like a, a class that is only in the slider. So I think really right the problem isn't that the slider styles uh if i had to guess right the problem is probably more in the reset because this reset is applying it to just all of the you know regular html elements and i think the uh clean theme that we're using uses some of those html elements so one of the things we can test right is if we got rid of the uh, reset style sheet and we came back and look at the gallery, right? All of this is pretty much correct, uh, except for this button here. These colors are still being overwritten, uh, but the slider is not correct, right? So everything else stays pretty much the same, but the reset messes with it, okay? So we bring that back, right? And of course, now the slider is good, but now our styles are all messed up. So obviously the problem is somewhere in our reset, uh, or at least the slider reset, not our reset, uh, or not the th clean themes reset. Um, so one of the ways I, I was thinking, you could try to go through here and figure out which uh, of these elements are all needed. But one of the things you could also look at, right, is if you go to the slider, it has this, everything is contained within this uh, class cd-hero section right everything for the slider is in there so if we just limited the reset to this class then maybe it would only affect um you know the slider and not the the rest of the theme so using some sublime text kind of multi-cursor magic i'm going to go ahead and try to select all of the elements or at least put them on their own line so we'll do that. Looks like we need to add one here, another one here. This must have been on a weird line spacing or something that these ones didn't take. Table, article, I guess we can leave that one. B, all right. So what I'm doing now, right, is I'm trying to limit this to the, all this stuff uh, to the CD hero, um, like container essentially, right? So if we save that, reload, uh, looks like that didn't necessarily, maybe we need to do a hard refresh. Okay. So yeah, I had to do a hard refresh in order for the style sheet to, to be out of cache. But if we look at the body text, right, it looks pretty much correct. Uh, the, these are still not quite 100%, uh, but the layout is correct. Uh, we just got to figure out that color issue. So let's see. I don't know. This doesn't really make sense, right? So if we put this there and then HTML, this needs to be like that. And then now we're trying to say, right, like the any div within CD Hero, any span within CD Hero, whereas this is body, we're trying to, uh, we're only applying this to the CD Hero section within the body, the CD Hero section within the HTML. 
So all these other ones are we want in this format of CD the, then hero or CD hero and then the elements. The rest of these is what we want. Uh, let's just go through. Okay, this one doesn't make any sense. Get rid of that. This guy doesn't make any sense. Okay. Uh, and I guess we need to do the same on these as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Grab this, grab this. And then this one doesn't make sense. And it looks like we have two of these and that is not correct. All right. All righty. We only got a few more to go. All right, so let's see now. Do another hard refresh. All right, so it looks like the slider looks correct, right? Behaves correctly. And all the rest of our styles except for these uh, footer icons being overwritten. And everything else looks correct. So uh, let's see. Let's see what where this style is even coming from. So I think it might be in the uh, slider style, but let's see if we can figure that out. Okay, so here's slider style, color is that. So let's see what happens if we... Okay, so that looks basically what we want. So we need to just come to this style uh, and limit it to the CD hero... Um, All right, so now if we came in here, said, oh, that's not gonna work, uh, cd-hero, right? And we come back, do a hard refresh again to get rid of any cache issues. So now we have our footer looking the same, our body text looks the same as our normal theme, and the slider looks good. So let's go check again the about. Does this look the way it should look? Yeah. So there you go, but it's pretty much uh, limiting those style resets to only affect the slider, which is kind of weird that they didn't do it anyway, um, but I guess they probably, you know, maybe weren't thinking too far ahead or maybe they thought that, that maybe that's a universal style sheet that uh, the clean theme maybe has its own and therefore there's a kind of a conflict. Yeah, this is the Meyer web reset, so. Um, but anyway, I guess it's from, is that 2011? Wow, I'm not sure that necessarily is the best reset. But anyway, the so th there we go. So now we have the styles. The, the slideshow is looking good. Now we can move on to adding the backend component in order to tie the slideshow uh, into our admin panel, right? And so that'll be the next episode. So, all right, we're making progress.